I see Lama, Lama. Oh my girl, me want to ask you just a question. Hey, me want get your attention. Oh pretty girl, me want to tell you my intentions. So give me just a little minute. Oh my girl, me want to ask you just a question. Hey, me want get your attention. Oh pretty girl, me want to tell you my intentions. So give me just a little minute. The way you know Hello guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here and you're just joining in, please permit me to introduce myself. <laughs> my name is Lisa Coca, and I'm a graduate of the Department of Law. I'm currently doing my clearance while I prepare for law school. Uh, vlogging is one of my hobbies. It's something I do to fight off the loneliness that comes from being the only child of a single parent. So guys, today I'm very excited. I'm turning 23 in three days. I haven't celebrated my birthday in 13 years when I lost my mom. But this year, this year is very different because I'm done with school and I have the most amazing friends and we're going to turn all the way up ooh, ooh. okay um so i'm about to share something that's really personal it's top secret please promise not to tell anybody i'm turning 23 in three days and i've never ever been to a club before i know it's a little embarrassing but yeah story of my life <laughs> hello handsome so what do I owe this uh, lesson surprise? I was in the neighborhood and I thought I could use some tender loving care to help relieve your stress. Ah, you know me so well. <laughs> Ooh. How are you? I'm fine. Hello. Oh. Good to see you. Yes, yes, it's good to see you. You're looking good. Yeah, so are you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is much. Oh. Oh. Hello, Daddy. What is it, Lisa? Um, Daddy, my birthday is in three days and I was wondering if I could stay the night at Onomes place on that day. Absolutely not. Oh, but Daddy, it's my birthday and you'll be at work on that day. I just want to spend time with my friends. The answer is still no. Oh, Daddy, please. Consider it my birthday present. I promise I'll be back first thing in the morning. Elizabeth Moroni Keji Koka. Answer, it's no. Okay? Daddy, why do you do this? I'm almost 23 years old and you're still treating me like a child. Can't you just indulge me this one time? As long as you live under my roof, you must abide with my rules. Okay? Now, we are not having this conversation again. Okay? These rules are simple. No sleeping out. And you must be back at home before 9 p.m. each time you go out. And don't you question my authority. Daddy, it's not fair now. Daddy! Daddy! Come on, take it easy on her. Hmm? I'm taking it easy. Mm. Mm. Gosh! Oh, you've been working your ass up. Yeah, it's all right. Take it easy, honey. Thank you. not going to let you go out on your birthday. That sucks. I know. Babe, why is your dad such a control freak, Steph? Honestly, I can't explain it. It beats me. It's crazy. Looks like I'm just going to sit at home and watch TV. <laughs> as usual. Mm -hmm. But no, no way. I mean, maybe we could go see a movie or something. Mm -hmm. Cinema. That's all we ever do. I swear. 
I don't want to spend my birthday sitting at the cinema. I'd rather just be at home and know that I'm roasting. Babe, see, there is literally nothing fun you can do during the day. I mean, Lagos only comes alive at night. Sure. So, well, maybe we can, you know, come over to your place with our own cake and drinks and have our own mm -hmm. small birthday party. Yeah, you see, that way, you don't even get to sleep out or stay behind your coffee. It's just like mm -hmm. us and two or three other people. Yep. Two or three other people. Yep. Okay. That sounds great. You Hi. see? You guys are the best. Thank you. I know. I got you. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, Miss Lisa. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Maggie. Happy birthday. Thank you. Where is my dad? He left for work an hour ago. But he asked me to give you this. Birthday princess. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Wow. Mom is so beautiful. It's perfect. Oh god, they try you. See as if I try to let us see. supposed to be here. I'm so sorry. Plan. But you know, all students, now once they heard we're having a party, huh? 
They wanted to come. And you know, free food. Yeah. I don't know how my dad is going to feel about this. Relax. He won't like it, won't be. Listen, relax. They'll be out of here before 7 p.m. So besides, we have clearance tomorrow. Calm down, girl. It's your birthday. You only turn 23 once. So exactly. Enjoy. Come on. Let's go party. Celebration is this? I... Just, just shut up. So this is your idea of being grown up, throwing parties without permission. What, Daddy? It's my birthday. In my house? It wasn't planned. I only thought they would come. Now I tell you this: you are grounded for the next two weeks. You go to school, come back home afterwards. Nowhere else. Do you understand? I've been grounded my whole life, Daddy. What's two weeks? <laughs> Cut this thing. Let's clear up. Okay, so. So I'm grounded for two weeks. I'm 23. And I'm still getting grounded. That's a joke. Wow. I'm sorry we put you into trouble. I mean, yeah. we're just trying to make it special for you. Mm -hmm. It's OK. It's not your fault, really. My dad is just overreacting. I can imagine. See, I was legit scared when I saw him standing there. For a second, I thought he was spitting out fire from his newsroom. <laughs> I swear, immediately he came in and turned up the music. My spirit left my body. I just saw myself outside. <laughs> Gosh, like, story of my life. Like, he does it all the time. Thanks for that. Honestly, I can't put it together. I know who that is. Well, I'm coming. I'm Hold on. You're not so stupid at my eh? I mean, how did you even know you're here? Who's that? That nerd, Lekon. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I don't have time from his nonsense. What do I do with him? I, I beg, I don't See, care. Just open the door for the poor boy. Who's that supposed to mean? What's that just open? Jeez. What's wrong with you? He keeps knocking me every day. What is that Hi. Hi. Hi, Lisa. Um, I think we should leave Lisa and her boyfriend. Well then, let's go. Uh, I, 
I just came to wish you happy birthday in our ears. And I said, I'm sorry I couldn't be here to celebrate with you and at your party, but I had to leave town for a family event and I just got back today, so. I, I also, I also got this for you. Thank you. You're welcome. This is um, extremely thoughtful of you. Yeah. So I was, I was hoping, you know, if I could take you out for lunch or a, 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 a movie, a movie, you know, sometime to celebrate. Um, unfortunately, the party I had at home got me grounded, so I'm off any social activities right now. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so maybe some other time then? Sure. All right. I'll leave now, so bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, bye-bye. Thank you. Welcome. You should understand that she has come of age and she will want to exercise her freedom. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, see, I know you are trying to protect her, but you still have to understand that she is no more a child. Daddy, so you think I should allow her to throw wild parties? Do you know how much alcohol was on that table? Enough to run the bar. Oh, come on, Femi. Huh? I I'm not telling you to let her run wild. No. All I am asking is that you should treat her like a woman. Now tell me, how do I treat my daughter, my child, like a woman? Good. I love this question. Now, first and foremost, you don't ground a grown woman. You have to cut that out. All right, all right. And secondly, dear, you need to communicate with her more. I mean, let her have a sense of belonging, you know. Have you told her about us? Well, no, no, I haven't. Why? Are, are you ashamed of me? No, 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 it's, it's, it's not that. It's, it's, it's just, listen, I, I know my daughter. She won't take it well, okay? <gasps> I'm just waiting for the perfect time. There is no perfect time for me. You just have to tell her. She is no more a child. I know, but you know, just, you know, her, her mother... Died 11 years ago. Femi, we have been dating for the past three months. Your daughter deserves to know about us. Come on. All right. All right, I will, I, will, I will talk to her. When? Um, I'll talk to her tomorrow. No, today, Femi. Oh, oh, okay, 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 today. Is that a promise? Yeah, it's a promise. Oh, thank you, darling. Why? 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 I don't they think of plenty last food things. Yeah. A quick look at what you do to me. See. While you Guys, I really don't know why African parents don't know how to communicate with their children. It's almost like we speak a different language. Almost as if they never had a childhood. Maybe they just fell on planet Earth or something. I really don't know. Things have changed and times are different. I don't know, guys. Is there anybody feeling me out there or who understands what I'm saying? I really want to know what you guys think about this. Okay, I see some people are sending in comments. Bob Daddy says, parents have a lot they want to say to their children. 
but they seem to lack the right words to say it. Mm. Well, that's true. Lakeside says, uh, okay. All right, guys, bye. I have to go now. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you. Bye. Come in. Good day, ma'am. Your dad wants to see you in his study. you know that um, uh, I want to, I've, I've changed that uh, movement restriction. You are no longer grounded. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's this friend of mine I wanted to meet, okay? Uh, she'll be having dinner with us tomorrow. She? But yes, she, she, um, but her name, her name is uh, Daddy Salabalogun. You know, she's um. Your um, girlfriend. But, yes. Um, <laughs> so that's why I'm no longer grounded. I, You're I, trying to bribe me. Actually, but, Daddy, you don't have time for your only child, but you've somehow made out time to chase women. Hey. Just don't expect me to act like the doting daughter when you choose to show off your girlfriend. Come back here. And now listen to me. We will have our guests tomorrow. And you'll be as your best behavior. Are we clear? Crystal clear. Good. Can I go to my room now? Please. Listen, you know, um, that is all I also studied at Junior Lab. So, how has school been for you so far? Great. I'm sure you must be looking forward to graduating. Everyone looks forward to graduating. So what are your plans after school, darling? Probably to marry a rich man. Um, um, Elizabeth. Lisa. Okay. Elisa. I understand that this is quite a lot for you to handle. I completely understand that. I know it is not easy for you 
to accept another woman in your father's life. But I promise you that I come in peace. Honey, all I want is just for us to get acquainted, for me to get to know you better. And as I'm looking at you, I know you have a whole lot of questions to ask me. And I'm right here to answer all of them. You're right. I do have a lot of questions. Beautiful. So spill them out. How old are you? I am 42 years old. Hmm. So, why my dad? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of younger men. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why my dad? It's, it's, it's a very harmless question. Don't worry. You see, Lisa, your daddy is an amazing man. And I find all the qualities that I want in a man in him. Mm. And is his net worth one of those qualities? Hmm? Lisa. Femi, please, let me handle this. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Lisa, darling. I want you to know one thing. I am not your enemy. Neither am I here to replace your mother. And I'm not also here to steal your father away from you. First of all, there isn't much here to steal. My father is hardly ever at home. Secondly, you could never Never, ever replace my mother. Why don't you even think about that? Dad! Are you planning on getting married to this woman? Lisa, yes. Lisa. It's our intention to get married. Wow! So all this is just for show. Like you never considered my opinion. So it's like my opinion doesn't count. You already want to marry her. Lisa, Daddy! Listen, Lisa, Lisa. Will you try to behave yourself? Or would rather go to your room right now? Daddy. I would rather go back to my room. I already lost my appetite. Lisa. I'm still talking to you, Lisa. <laughs> This is insane. It's okay, it's okay. Please, please. It's not that easy. It's okay. Please. I'm sure she will still come around, okay? Get easy, please. Oh, it's okay. Come on, come on, finish up. I'm sure she will get to come around. I lost my Get it. I mean, what was he expecting? Like, how did he expect me to react? It's probably midlife crisis or something. Hmm. Sure, he's definitely getting married to the crisis. You need to see the way she just kept going on and on and on about him. It's almost like I've been living in the house with a stranger. Myself and my dad used to be so close. Aww. And then my mom died and he just became distant. Sorry, babes. I'll be fine. <sighs> Anyways, I really don't care. He can date whoever he pleases. It's none of my business. She's never going to be family to me. Oh, I'm right. I'm <sighs> Lisa, don't look, but there's a guy at my 10 o'clock. I think he's staring at you. Don't look! Don't lie, we bully, we get nicked out, we chill, we don't eat, 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 we
Stallion. Yeah, I think his name is Stanley also, but people call him Stallion. Stallion. Looks like a Yahoo boy. I can imagine your dad's face with a guy like that. He literally faint. Oh my god. Hmm. I think it's time my dad gets a taste of his own medicine. Okay. Uh, don't I get to meet this your boyfriend? Sure. I'll bring him in. Good. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Um, so your your parents named you Stallion. Stallion. <laughs> the street, sir. The street named me Stallion. <laughs> Actually, my name is Stanley. But the street, you know. Oh, I see. Yes. Um, Dad, we have to get going now. We'll be late for our slot. Yes, Dad. Yes. We have to go. The theaters are going to be full. Yes. Bye, sir. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Love you. The golden eyes. The golden eyes. The golden eyes. We turn this to dollar. We ball it with the nickel. We chill it with no ticker. Running late. I can't believe you came here to change your outfit and now we've missed the movie. Baby, <clears throat> you know, for 
a rugged man like me to be dating the beautiful you. <laughs> the daughter of a rich man. I have to look good. Come on now, you know. See me, see me. Hmm? <coughs> Wearing glasses. Looking good. All for my baby. You know, if we actually do miss the movie, <laughs> at least you got me for yourself. I'm there for you, baby. Plus, uh, there will be so many movies for us to watch much later. But for now, enjoy me. Hmm? Mm. Lisa, 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 Lisa. How much I love Lisa. Mm. Daughter of Mr. Cook. <laughs> oh, picture. <laughs> Got it? You like that? Yeah. My beautiful Lisa. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm I'm messing up with my cigarettes. Silly me, silly me. Um, um, I'll, 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 I'll off it now. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'll be a good boy for you, Lisa. <coughs> Sorry, I'll be a good boy for you. Why don't I take it? Golden eyes, the golden eyes, the golden eyes. Take a look at this. I want you to give me every information you can find on him. Okay, sir. Everything. Okay, sir. I'll transfer that to your phone. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Let me leave now. Do you know that your so-called boyfriend is a cultist? Cultist? Don't you play dumb with me, Lisa. I'm not playing dumb, Daddy. I, I had no idea he was a cultist. How did you get this information? Well, I did what any responsible father would do. I ran a check on him. What I don't understand is how you can allow yourself to get close to such a dubious character. Do you know how much mess you have gotten yourself? So, Daddy, you are allowed to date anybody and I'm not. Ah. Ah, okay. So, this is about Jadis, Ola. Hmm? You have to date an hooligan to prove a point to me. What is wrong with you? Lisa, you, you, play, you play these childish pranks and you expect me to treat you like an adult, right? But Daddy, how was I supposed to know he's a criminal? Anyone with eyes who can see that that young man has a dubious character. Okay, fine. I won't see him anymore. Well, you don't have to worry about that. I've taken care of that. What did you do, Daddy? Well, I got him locked up. What? Oh, yes, you're welcome. Hey, Lisa. Hey. 
crazy tree for the girls telling the rest day? I don't know. Who told you that? <laughs> the news is all over campus. And you better know if this is true. But dangerous. I'm going to come after you. Believe that. You better believe that. A cultist? Yes. But that's terrible. <laughs> How did she get herself into that mix? I have no idea. My goodness. I have no idea. Uh, Femi, you remember the conversation we had about me moving in? Don't you think now is the time? No. She clearly needs a female influence. And no matter how hard you try, you can never understand the face she is going through. Lisa needs a woman to talk to. You know, see, that is all. As much as I love that idea, but I know it won't work. She, she, she can't handle it at this time, okay? See, it will only create us more problems. Okay. All right. Okay, I agree. Okay, if I can't move in, then I'm going to have you insist on getting a bodyguard for her. A bodyguard? What for? Femi, you just got a courtist arrested. Don't you know what that means? I mean, don't you know the kind of danger she is in? Oh, come on, darling. Look, she needs somebody who can protect her and monitor her movements 24-7. You know, I have not thought about that. But where do I get a bodyguard? Oh, never mind. Just leave that to me, okay? She wouldn't like it. Come off it, my darling. Keep your mind at rest. Trust me. She will. She will accept it. Yeah, I'll try. Good day, ma'am. Your dad wants to see you in his study. Okay. Daddy, you asked to see me. Yes, sir. Take a seat. Uh, yes, um, in light of what has been happening these past few days, I have been very concerned about your safety, especially when you are not at home. Okay, so I have decided to hire Alex. Hire him to do what exactly? Oh, for your protection. See, Alex here is a professional bodyguard, the best in the field. So, effective immediately, wherever you go, he goes. Come on, Daddy. You can't be serious. I mean, look at him. He's going to attract more attention to me. I promise you that I'm not in any danger. Oh, I, I believe you. I believe you. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Plus, when I listen to you, I don't have to worry about you getting yourself in any sticky situation. Daddy, I'm safe. Please don't do this to me, please. I'll do anything you want me to do. Sorry, sweetie. I have to do this, okay? I have to do this. Daddy, I already, I'm already embarrassed with the driver I take to school every day and now you want to add him to it. You no, know, I knew you were going to say that. Don't worry, I've already handled that. You no longer need the services of your driver. See, Alex here will double for both your driver, your chauffeur, and your escort. Especially when you have to go back out there to that hostel, which I don't know why you're still going there after your graduation. You still keep going back to that same place, you know. Then I'll, I'll make sure you are safe. Daddy, I go 
to the hostel because I and my friends are still doing clearance. This is completely unnecessary now. Veronica G. You just like make Marenica. my life difficult, Daddy. Listen. It's it's for your protection. And remember something. All this wouldn't have been happening now if you have not gone to date that hooligan. That moron. Okay? So wherever you go now, he goes. Daddy, which one is this one now? Oh, that'll be all for now. Just make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I can open my own doors. Bodyguard is hot. Liva, I don't know why she's complaining. Look, I would give up my pocket money just to have that guy follow me around. Uh -uh. See his body. Oh. Hey. I mean, I don't know. I understand my dad wanting to be protected and know that I'm safe, but I already have zero freedom. Adding a bodyguard to it, that's like an overkill. Please give me you. I won't. It can guard my body. Anytime. <laughs> I mean, that guy looks like someone that just came out of a Hollywood movie. <laughs> Please. What Hollywood movie? Someone that acts like he's deaf and dumb. I mean, he's so cold and impersonal. He doesn't talk, he doesn't smile, he doesn't make conversations. I beg, I beg, I beg. I can't stand him. So, you want to talk to him, right? Are you even sure you're his type? Because I mean, obviously, I don't think that guy will ever talk to me. Seriously. You should just take your mind off it, really. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He's just a bodyguard, okay? Calm down, it's not that deep. Okay, you better be slow. Listen. Listen. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> if you want your freedom, I'm sure you can come to some sort of arrangement with him. I mean, your dad doesn't need exactly. to know. Hmm, I mean... He acts so hard-headed. I don't think he'll listen. Well, mm. there's no harm in trying. Four years. Wow. That's a long time. Do you enjoy it? Is the pay good? I'd rather keep this as professional as possible, madam. <sighs> Calm down. You know, you don't need to act all James Bond with me. My dad isn't here. 
you know you can actually just drop me off and sit in the car go anywhere you want and at the end of the month my dad doesn't have to know you he still gets your full salary i can even throw in something extra what do you think with all due respect my job is to ensure your safety at all times i take my job very seriously madam i believe you should do too for your case, I go lose cardio. For your race, I go run mad, yo. For my song, you get one pass, yo. I go take it, go up, pass, yo. For my heart, only one chance, yo. If you sleep, if you gone, dance, yo. You get sense, are you the smart, yo? You get swagger, you get classy, yo. Get for your case, I go lose cardio. For your race, I go run mad, yo. For my song, you get one pass, yo. I go take it, go up, pass, yo. For my heart, only one chance, yo. If you sleep, if you can dance, yo. You get sense, are you the smart, yo? You get swagger, you get classy, yo. Get classy, yo. Give me the touch and the kiss and the loving. I like when you look me and tell me it's alright. Alright. Tell me you love me, you never go leave me, you never go hurt me, and then I'll be alright. You promise to stay. If you leave me, I go crazy. You're going follow you don't you have closing hours or something to do robbers and assassins don't have closing hours but the guys don't either look you got me home safe my room is saved i don't need you here i wait outside your room till your father returns stop following me. Stop following me! Don't you have something useful to do with your time? You are not needed here. I hate you, actually. Stay away from me. Bodyguard, come and sit down now. He's distracting us, actually. Wait. So you're distracted by that one? Uh, what are you saying? Why not? Look at this hot man. Of course. Hey. Go and toast him. Please, if you give me the chance, I will. I will. You're kidding, right? I'm serious. Anyways, <laughs> according to Alex, he has to stand at an advantageous position to make sure I'm safe. Tell me, do I look like I'm in danger? Huh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, according to Alex, I have overstayed my welcome and I'll probably have to leave soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, he believes that five or ten minutes more would put me at risk. <laughs> Please, come on, be going. Before he gets angry again. Abby, you. <laughs> Get angry, Kay. Okay. I'm back. I'm staying. Uh. Please. It's gonna have fun. Go! Right, I'm gonna now. enjoy myself. Let's go! Ice. The golden eyes. The golden eyes. The golden eyes. The golden eyes. We turn things to dollar. We ball it with the nigger. We chill it with no ika. But now we got it. We got it. More, more countable. Mama focus to what the show now. The streets gone the old now. To me, to all my days now. Hello. <laughs> Lisa. Lisa. Hi. I just wanted to give you something. Oh! Hey. oh. Well, I, 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 I just. I don't I just wanted to give her a, pe a pen. I'm
Tears they come aside for our eyes, but that tears turn to joy. Uploading to what the joy, I great in all that the joy. Joyful no. Daddy, he almost killed my friend for trying to return my pen to me. He was going to throw the pen at her, sir. She could have gotten injured. And besides, there was no way to be sure it was just the pen. All right. Wow. It could have been a bomb. Abby? Exactly. Daddy, I've had enough. I've had enough of him. When are you going to call off your guard dog? He's constantly <coughs> causing commotion in school, attacking my friends, and he's hard again. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Get this thing straight. It's for your protection. I am not going to fire Alex, okay? Get that straight. Just let him do his job. He's a professional here. You never listen to me. I do listen. Ah. A little bit it's told me you will be hungry. Ah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm sure you love it. Yes. Oh. Uh, that's what you got. Oh. Mm. Thank you, darling. That was um, delicious. You know, I never knew I was this hungry. I guess I know you more than you know yourself. You sure do. <laughs> you sure do. Yes. So how is Lisa and um, how is the bodyguard project going? Mm, fine, fine. But she's upset with me, as usual. Mm. You know. But the bodyguard then is fine. It's a great idea, you know. Uh, at least I don't have to worry now about her safety. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Mm. That's good. And, and the young man, he seems so professional. Yeah, oh, Very sure. professional. Like That's that. great. I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Yeah. But Lisa hates his guts. Would you believe she begged me to fire him? No, 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 please don't. Don't do that. She might not understand what you are doing for her now, but she will come to appreciate it in the future and she will thank you for it. Well, her right. safety should come first, you know. That's right. You're right. You're right. I'm always right, you know. Well, I just hope I don't lose her completely. Oh, come on. You can't lose her. Darling. You can't lose her. She is your daughter and she will always be. She's my daughter too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so don't worry. And by the way, um, I'm thinking of um, stopping by at the house this weekend so that Lisa and I can have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, you know, just the two of us. Really? Yeah. But I feel she should be able to talk more when you're not around. Hmm. Well, what do you think? I think, I think, uh, I think you're, you're right. I will work. Thank you, sweetheart. Always right. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Ma'am, are you okay? Ma'am, are you are you okay? Is everything okay in there? I'm fine. Do you mind? I'm having a live recording in here. Sorry. I was hearing some funny noises, so just making sure everything is okay. Is she? Captain America. Please, can you just go to the living room? I'm having a live recording and I need complete silence. I'll just wait right here. 
Listen, there are two security men at the gate. CCTV's in almost every room. I am safe. You really don't need it here. Fine. You can stand there if you want. But please, I need complete silence. I'm trying to do a YouTube video in there and it's live. I can't edit anything. Hello guys, welcome to Lisa Coca TV. Golden eyes, the 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 golden eyes, Hey, lady. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That is baby girl. I should want to know who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do you think your dad is? Huh? You think you can hold my boss? Huh? So. That is little girl. You wanna get yourself a bodyguard, innit? You took my boss. You think I'm playing with you? Uh, Look. Uh, uh, please, please don't leave me. Don't leave me here alone, please. Uh, nah, man, let him go. 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 No, 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 no. Let him go. I'm gonna be seeing you. And baby girl, I got my eyes on you. All right? I'm coming for you! <laughs> Woo! Please don't leave me. The golden eyes, the golden eyes, the golden eyes. Why didn't you tell me you were being threatened? It happened only once. I actually thought it was a prank. I'm sure that anyway. I need to know everything concerning your security. I'm sorry. Thank you for coming in when you did. You saved my life. It's just doing my job, okay? Can I ask a favor of you? Go ahead. Can this incident stay between us? Please don't tell my dad. I don't want him to hire more bodyguards. Oh, I think your dad needs to know. It's important that he knows. No. I mean, I have you and you're enough for me. You can take care of me. You can handle any attack. All right. In one condition, okay? You need to promise me that you will cooperate with me from now on. Is that a deal? Deal. All right. I'll let you be.
I'll get you some painkillers, okay? All right. Thank you. Do you want, Daddy? I beg your pardon. <laughs> I know your type. I know what you want. And the fact that my father has chosen to ignore the signs does not mean I will. You and I will never be friends. You can choose to move into this house, marry my father, even bear my surname. But you will never, you will never be a part of this family. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I have nothing to discuss with you. Listen! Who's there? It's me, Alex. I was going to come and check up on you earlier, but I figured you needed time to clear your head. So, about the woman. That's your father's woman? So they say. So what do you have against her? when I was 12 years old. She had cancer. <laughs> she fought hard for a year. She lost. It was the most painful time of my life. My dad would never let me see her before she died. He was trying to protect me. He didn't want my, the memory I had of her to be of her lying sick on the hospital bed. When I lost my mom, I lost him too. My dad suddenly became so distant so busy with work. He was always at the office. He never had time for me. I feel like he blamed me for my mother's death. So, I comforted myself with the idea that perhaps my father is not the loving type or a doting father or type to, to, to show love to his daughter. And then suddenly, and then comes this, this woman. And my dad is acting like a, a lovesick puppy. I'm 
jealous. I said it. I said it. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of my father's girlfriend. How can he love her when he never loved me? You said your father loves you. I saw the worry on his face when he was telling me my duties. Now, Emmanuel, I have a way to say it to you. Well, probably doesn't have a good way to show it. But believe me, he loves you. Very much. Tell me, how is it possible that he's able to show her love and yet not show me love? Lisa, I lost my parents when I was nine. Car crash. I had to live with my auntie, a mean woman. One who I could never even wait to run away from. When I got old enough, I picked up my bags one night and I jetted. I ran straight into the military. Enlisted for 10 years. Today, I'm a personal bodyguard watching over you. No sibling? One. She died of malaria when she was five years old. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right. It was a long time ago. Tell you what, Lisa. You finally have a chance to build a family you never had. You need to let your father lead his life. You need to accept this woman. Put aside your emotions. Even you said you were jealous, right? Give her a chance. Who knows? She might even be the glue to put your family back intact. Just think about it. It cost you enough. You're angry for no reason. Now, how's your mom? Need to put this away and get some rest. I'll be outside if you need anything. All right. Thank you. I'm just doing my job. Yes. Have a lovely day. Uh, oh, Lisa, I have a flight out tonight. Oh. Yes, I'm going to New York to tidy up um, a deal. You know. So it's only for a couple of days. I'll miss you, Daddy. I'll How long you. will you be away for? I'll be back next week. It's just a matter of a few days. Hmm? Okay. okay. I'll miss you too. Okay. Um, take care of yourself now. Okay. okay. And behave yourself. I will, Daddy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, um. I notice you have not complained about Alex lately. Are you alright? I'm fine. I guess I just needed to adjust to the idea of having a bodyguard. Ah, well, I told you. But don't worry, it won't be for long, okay? Take care of yourself.
everything okay, Lisa? Look, you've had this look on your face all day. You wanna talk about it? Bimbo's birthday is next weekend. And she's having a party at her apartment, but I can't go. I mean, I really want to go, but we both know what might happen when I ask permission from my dad. <sighs> I feel like a prisoner in my own home. I mean, Bimbo and, and Onome are my best friends, but I can't even show up for them. It sucks. Well, I can't wait until I move out of this house and I'm independent and I can do whatever it is that I want to do. It's funny because even if my dad, for some weird reason, allows me to go for the party, it would just be awkward. Everybody's supposed to go with a plus one and I don't have anybody to go with because my dad locked up the last guy I went out on a date with, so... My life sucks. I'll tell you what, Lisa. If you really need to go to the party, yeah? I'll cover up for you. Your dad is not in town, so... He doesn't need to know as long as you're safe, yeah? Really? <laughs> you do that for me? Unless, if you don't have a date, if you can't find one, I'll be happy to stand in. going so well and it's almost too good to be true it feels so perfect and deep down you're afraid afraid that something will go wrong Afraid that something terrible will happen because oh my God, nobody deserves to be this happy. 
Welcome to Lisa Koka TV. Today I want to talk about something we're all too familiar with. <sighs> Falling in love. That warm feeling in your belly. The skipping heartbeats. The feeling that without this person you just can't live. Those are the symptoms. Daddy, you asked to see me. Yes. Good afternoon. Uh -huh. I called you both here because uh, I need answers. Is there something Neither of you need to tell me? No. No? <laughs> you see, what you both don't understand is that nothing goes on here without my knowledge. You. I hired you to protect my daughter. The rules were simple. No late nights and no parties. But what did you do? The moment I left town, you escorted my daughter to a party. With courtists in attendance. And not just that, they got involved in that fight. What if it had gotten hurt? Oh, Daddy, it wasn't his fault. Quiet. Quiet. Let me deal with him first, and I'll come back to you. My apologies, sir. I, I am totally sorry, sir. It, it, it's not what you think. I, I, ah, I, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry too. Because right now, you're fired. <laughs> you pack your things now and leave my compound before I change my mind and get you arrested. And be sure, be very sure that I am going to report this to your director. Let him know of your lack of professionalism. And I wish you good luck with your next job. Now, get out of my house. Get out. Daddy, please, please, it was not his fault. Please, Daddy, give him a second chance. Please. Ah, what is it? Why? I thought you never wanted a bodyguard in the first place. Um, 
it's because I feel responsible. Please, well, you should, Daddy. Have, you should have thought about that before you start behaving recklessly. But, Daddy, it was just a party now. My best friend's birthday. Your best friend's birthday. And Cortis just strolled in and started a knife fight. Do you know how worried I was? Do you have an idea of my state of mind when the commissioner of police called me and queried me about my daughter? But daddy, those courtes came looking for me because you put one of them in jail! So why did that happen in the first place? Why? Why did I do that in the first place? You see, it boils down to your actions. And I had to step in and clean up your mess. Just like I had to clean up your mother's mess. My, my mother. Daddy, what happened uh, to my no, mother? No, never, mind. never mind. Daddy, what mess are you talking about? I need to be alone now. Insane. Maybe because you've been handling her with kid gloves. She is no more a child. But why does she insist on behaving like one? That is it, Femi. I am moving in right away. Honestly, and I'm going to put my foot down on this, honey. Lisa needs a female influence. Trust me. Move in if you will. I don't care. But as long as you are ready for her silent treatment. Do you know that she's been ignoring me now for the past four days? Come four on. good days she's been ignoring me. Don't worry, honey. You just leave that to me. Okay? I don't like it when you're stressed up like this. Come on. I don't love it when you're stressed. Thanks, I don't sweetheart. like it. Thanks, sweetheart. It, 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 it's just so frustrating. Come on. I try everything. Just relax. I'll handle everything, okay? Mm. Mm. <laughs> My God, such a long day. Crazy. My God. Today is a long day, really. Yup. I can't even deal. Oof. Girl, gotta go inside now. I'm so tired. I don't know, guys. I feel like my daddy hates me. How come everything that makes me happy is a problem to him? Have you heard from Alex? No. His number is not available. I've checked everywhere for him. I keep searching for him. I've gone on Facebook. I've gone on Instagram. I've gone on Twitter. I've even been on Tinder. I've checked LinkedIn and he's nowhere. It's almost like he just disappeared into thin air. See, he'll be back. I'm sure he just needs time to regroup himself. Yeah, it's been over a week now, now, eh? <sighs> How much time does he need? I'm starting to think my daddy may have locked him up too. Don't <laughs> say that. I don't know, I'm I feel like I'm losing my mind. Patience, Lisa. I'm sure he'll be back. Everything will be fine eventually, so. Hmm? Yes. Don't worry, he'll be back. Yeah. Trust me. I promised you, if he doesn't return, I will never forgive my dad. Girl, you'll be fine. So, how are things at school? Thank you. When are you starting your clearance? Clarence is currently ongoing. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
I hope you're not finding the process so tedious. No. It's fine. Um, listen, Jerry Sola will be staying with us for a while until we are able to sort out some technical issues that are pertinent. Uh, in fact, she will uh, move her things in sometime this weekend. Excuse me. past couple of weeks I don't know about you but a lot has been happening in my life so how are you guys doing can I see a thumbs up if you can see me and if you can hear me clearly dad we don't get your fucking ass down here I'm sure you are both wondering why I have a gun to your head, right? It's somehow confusing. But just relax. Relax, okay? Just relax. First, I would like to apologize. This was not supposed to happen. And things would have gone a lot smoother if your father did not keep messing up my plans. What plan? Plans A, B, and C. My plan A was to get married to you and divorce you within a year under a messy lawsuit so I could earn 80% of your net worth. Daddy, I told you she was after your money, but you wouldn't listen. <laughs> she was right, baby. You should listen to your kids often. How was I supposed to know that she was insane? In your defense, I was pretty amazing, you know. But please, oh, we don't need to get distracted here. Focus, focus, Daddy. Now, plan B. My plan B was to get married to you and poison you after a year. Yes, but you see, you ruined my plan A and B by asking me to sign the prenup before wedding. That prenup would have left me with nothing at the end of the day. 
gosh, your dad is a is tight fisted, you know. Gah. Tell me about it. <sighs> anyway, that brings us to plan C. We heard from a reliable source that you have 500,000 right here in this house. So I figured half bread is better than none. Right? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you mean all this drama is just for 500,000 naira? Oh, come on, baby. Dollars, sweethearts. I'm talking about $500,000. Isn't that worth the drama? Huh? Isn't that worth the drama? But now, listen, you, Femi Kukai, you ruined my plan C when you fired Alfred. That left us with no other option. I'm robbery. A reliable source is your. Alfred, P.A. Yes. I'm going to get that boy arrested. Oh. And we've got that boy off. <laughs> Not only him, also my associates. station and reported a possible case of um, kidnap and robbery. He gave us your address, even played a live recording for us over the phone. So yeah, we had to come straight away. He? Where is he? He should be outside. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Hi. It was you who called the police. How do you how do you know it was me? The officer mentioned that a gentleman was outside and he was the one who called. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I I'm glad you're okay. And if you're wondering how I got your address, it was on a man who gave it to me. And also watch your YouTube channel, so. Really? Oh. Wow. What's your handle? Lakeside. Your Lakeside? No way. <laughs> what did you mention? I, I didn't get the chance to, you know. I, you're pretty hard to reach, so. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, last I checked, you owe me a birthday present. It's lunch or dinner. Yeah. Um, we could 
go now. When you come this close to death, you learn to appreciate life more. You learn to appreciate people more. Because the person you trust the most can try to kill you. And the person you least expect can actually save your life. One thing though, I need to go ask my daddy. Dad? Oh, sweetheart. I have something to tell you. Yes, it's a confession. I lied to you. For, for, for a good reason. I lied to you for a good reason. Okay. Your mother did not die of cancer. She didn't. She was an alcoholic. Okay. Yes, it was quite bad. I had to put her in the rehab in New York. She kept, she kept relapsing. She kept relapsing, and and, and then she, she overdosed and just stopped breathing. You know, all those protection it was it was a way to keep me away from being exposed to alcohol or anything like that. Why didn't you just tell me, Daddy? So that I didn't want you to have any bad memory of your mother. See, I wanted to keep good memories about her. Sweetie, you're an amazing young woman. And I love you with every beat of my heart. So, so proud of you. All your achievements. You can't imagine how I feel when I watch your program. I beam with pride each time I tune into your program. You watch my vlogs? Yes, of course. I'm a regular. I'm Bob Daddy. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Daddy, it's a vlog, not a program. Okay, it's a vlog. You're the best <laughs> daddy ever. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, sweetie. I'm glad it's over now. You're the so best nice. daddy. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see love more. Love more. Oh my girl, me want to ask you just a question hey, Me want to get your attention Oh pretty girl, me want to tell you my intentions So give me just a little minute Oh my girl, me want to ask you just a question hey, Me want to get your attention Oh pretty girl, me want to tell you my intentions So give me just a little minute The way you navigate your bum bum team boom, boom. I don't think of plenty last food things a quick look at what you do to me See, why you put me on the long, long thing Oh baby, can I have a dance? Please give me your hands I'm liking this euphoria, you feeling the romance I know I sound cliche, but your beauty is attractive If you got corona, I'll be ready to contact it